Sometimes it takes a year or two for underclassmen to adjust to the pace and intensity of high school athletics. Others, like the subject of our next story, don't waste any time at all. I visited Ottawa Glendorf this week to speak with an inspiring freshman, and his story is brought to you by Kelly's Poco Loco Swim Shop. Ben Seeltz has had a lot of success as a freshman on the OG swim team. Ben's done an outstanding job. He's walked onto the team, moved in slain, up with the swims on three of our relays that we're heading into district on. And he's very close to the OG boys backstroke record, and that's just as a freshman. I think he'll push a couple of the records as he goes through his career, so can't ask for too much more. But there's a lot more to the story than his accomplishments in the pool. Ben is deaf, and he has been for his entire life. But not being able to hear hasn't held him back one bit. The precocious swimmer has always loved being in the water. Now swimming competitively, Ben really seems to be in his element. Just talking about last Saturday's sectionals brings a huge smile to his face. Ben performed brilliantly at those sectionals, winning the 200 relay, and he's got clear goals laid out for districts. Ben's teammates have embraced him and he got along with everyone immediately. At one of the invitationals we were at and I said, you know, remember how you felt as a freshman coming on to a relay with two juniors and a senior and what, it, what does it feel like being that way just as a freshman and they're like, oh yeah, sort of nervous, we don't, we don't say anything to him and I said, well, and not only is he that way but he also doesn't hear what you have to say. So we need to work on everybody learning how to sign to bring him in, make him feel a part. That way he'll be more relaxed when he swims and we can get what he should be doing out of him. They all made their little signs and their, everybody on the team learned their special thing that I didn't know so they could all stand behind me and make fun of me. So that, that was a good moment. Ben's coaches have also known him for years and they have been instrumental in his success. He's a great person. He always works hard. Um, he doesn't complain or fuss. I think he's looked at me a couple times red-faced as for a hard workout, but that, the, all the kids do that. He's a typical kid. And don't forget one other person who's been a huge part of the journey. Can't forget about mom, of course. Ben is gearing up for districts, and he's got a bright future ahead of him. It's a safe bet that you'll hear his name on the Sports Report many times over the next three years.